And hello, welcome back. And we want to continue. We want to continue our debugging process. And so in the last video, uh, yeah, we found that our simulation blew up for some reason. And why did it blow up? Now I like to draw you, your, draw your attention to this part where it looks at looks like the pressure. Look at the pressure and look at the scaling of the pressure. And this blue thing means it's a negative pressure. Now that is not uh, quite ideal, like what we want. But nevertheless, uh, we should know that the negative pressure is a problem for this boundary condition. Because once there's negative pressure, it will start to sort of uh, pull, yeah, pull flow in, so to speak, from the rest of the uh, fluid. There will be a high pressure here, a low pressure here. So that will cause some sort of increase in flow and something will happen and the simulation starts to blow up. Well, mm, how did I find out where the problem was? Well, um, there is this, there is this uh, part where if we go to foam tutorials, we change directory to foam tutorials, we go to the ICO foam folder, we go to this elbow folder. And what is elbow? Elbow is uh, basically a, a flow through a curved pipe, right? In a 2D fashion. So I wanted to check if we did our boundary conditions correctly, since obviously something here is wrong that's causing the simulation to blow up. So the boundary field was as such. At the walls, there's no slip. At the inlets, there's some fixed velocity. At the outlets, at the outlets that is like zero gradient that's fine and all but let's look at the pressure boundary conditions look at all of them are uh, zero gradient this one's empty because it's 2d yeah the front and back planes are 2d that's fine wall 8 is also a zero gradient but the pressure outlet is at a fixed value of zero so i'm going to copy that over so what does fixed value of zero means it means that uh yeah the pressure there should be a fixed value. It's a boundary condition you need to give to the pressure. Else it's going to start fluctuating and it's going to blow up. So that's something uh, probably I forgot and it was my oversight. But uh, now that we know where, what's wrong, we can go and update the boundary conditions as follows. Alright, so I'm going to CD to the zero. VIU. Okay, wrong one. VIP. So the top patch, the top patch is where the uh, flow is going. So I'm going to press DD to delete everything and paste. Fixed value with a uniform of zero. So now, um, yeah, we can do a, we can redo ICO form. And we're going to fast forward the thing again. Hopefully it brings us to... Oopsie. Okay, I, I got to clean it up. Because it starts from the latest time. I'm going to do run to redo the snappy hex mesh and everything. So fast forward that again. Alright, so the geometry is done. I'm going to start running IcoFoam again. IcoFoam. So this time the execution time is a lot shorter, 10.3 seconds per time step. So normally, as we've seen before, the simulation blows up at 0 0.25 seconds, but if changing this boundary condition stops that from happening, we'll know that we're on the right track. So I'm going to fast forward again, and I'll see you uh, probably when this thing is uh, more or less done. And so, um, it looks like um, this uh, simulation is running just fine. 
you just see the current number is not exceeding one nor is it uh is it increasing in a geometric fashion it's well below one so that's uh good to know and the average current number is pretty stable the maximum well, fluctuates here and there that's fine and look at each uh each uh, iteration it does not take that long it's about 10 seconds per iteration yeah so so not not so much of an issue right here it seems to be finishing up very nicely so since it finishes it's finishing up nicely I'll probably want to upload it to GitHub. Mm -hmm. So there you go, we ended it. So git add. And while waiting, we can take a look at the snappy pipe form again. Now, now we can see what the uh, slice looks like. Let's take a look at the slice filter. Some exciting results to see if you are interested in this kind of thing at least. It's exciting. And then we'll want the uh, we'll apply the slice filter first. Then we can add the glyph filter. With the glyphs we can do it later. The slice is more you know, interesting. So I'll change it to you. Oh, this one I should change it to you. Maybe the magnitude so we can see and then we'll scale it properly all right hmm okay so I'll just uh, click on the snappy pipe dot to yeah let's see yep And now let's uh, put the axis on so we can see what's uh, which is top and which is bottom. Come on. Oh, right, I need to right to here. Axis grid. And I'll turn off the glyph. And we see that this is the outlet. So let's take a look at the outlet. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, we just press this to rescale, this button here to rescale. Uh, yeah, we can see what the flow development looking like. Okay, so we can see clearly a boundary layer is kind of forming. And of course, there is this, uh, there is this reddish part, which is probably because the, the pipe there is not so smooth. Uh, that's fine. That's to be expected in a rough looking pipe, but uh, at least, you know, uh, it's not blowing up. So, as you keep playing, you can see what the pattern is like. It's more or less uh, steady, it looks like. And some boundary layers around. It looks like a pretty normal looking simulation. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Maybe we can have a custom scaling range so we can see what is the. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. Oh, yeah. Maybe have a custom scaling range. Yeah. So maybe 0 to 0 0.0001 and let's rescale the thing. Okay, so it's not going to rescale much. Okay, come on. Oh, rescale. Alright, maybe a 0 0.99 maybe. 
and we can see the boundary layer. Oh, zero point triple o nine nine. Now we can rescale. You should be right. Yeah. Finally. One zero missing. So Z plane. Okay. So this is uh, not that helpful. Uh, maybe we use a different scaling. Eight zero. Rescale. Nine five. Okay. So again, uh, don't, we don't see any much. Uh, yeah, I think the visible range is the best. If it's so hard to see, probably the glyph is better to look at. So coloring by P, scaling by P, by U. Okay, 100. Let's see what happens. Okay. So it looks like a steady state kind of a flow. Doesn't be seem to be changing over time. Now pause this. I probably want to look at the entrance region. Let's take a look at the entrance region. So that's where a lot of the action is happening. Again, probably we don't see so much going on. It's a bit hard to see. Yeah, but uh, it looks as if like the simulation is running properly. This is the exit. Again, there will be some uh, area of discrepancy due to the unevenness of the pipe. 
Other than that, it looks like a really legit simulation. Perhaps there needs to be more time for the for the uh, layers, the the flow to fully develop. But that's okay. Not crashing. So probably we will want to further uh, yeah, further push this simulation forward, give it a few more time steps. Maybe since the current number is so low, we can increase the time step by a factor of a hundred and then we'll we can check and see what happens uh, after that. All right, so while it's uh, committing uh, its changes to GitHub, um, basically what I'll do is just uh, upload this onto GitHub. And in the next video, we'll talk about uh, trying to push, push this simulation to the point where we can see this uh, parabolic flow profile developing in the pipe. So thank you for watching, and thanks for your patience. I'll see you guys next time.